Point, I come from many different worlds. I feel I can claim so many different um, musical scenes as the sort of computer music and technology people, the post cage people, you know, the, the Count Basie type people. I, I mean, I, I can claim all of those in some ways. A collage, which is a chamber orchestra piece, and North Star Boogaloo, which is solo percussion with electronics, sort of came out of the same era. I mean, we were all professors at the University of California in San Diego. Stephen Schick, who was still there now as a, as a distinguished professor. Quincy Troop, who is now um, doing all kinds of amazing things. He was a professor in the Department of Literature, and, and during that time he published the now famous uh, autobiography of Miles Davis. The part of my thinking was also like this. Um, for the kind of poetry and the kind of poetic tradition that Quincy comes out of, I had never seen that kind of thing juxtaposed with, you know, more or less classical contemporary music ensemble. I, I heard other kinds of things, but I'd never heard anything like this. So I thought we were kind of making an intervention in all that. And eventually I wanted to make a Quincy Troop orchestra piece too. I still want to do that. This is my first experience working with ICE. Code name for this is 15 people, 15 minutes. <laughs> um, the new work itself is turning out to be a bit I'm trying to make the work noisy, you know, and I'm following a curious principle. I mean, there is a title for the work. It's called The Will to Adorn. Now, The Will to Adorn is a section of an essay by the anthropologist uh, Zora Neale Hurston, who actually went to school at Columbia. I want to look at adornment as a compositional process. Do you know, for example, um, uh, there's a whole tradition of African American, American women wearing these uh, super duper hats with many layers, they're very elaborate. And this is what Hurston is talking about in her 1930s essay about adornment. There's some sort of successive layers of where uh, things get added onto things. You never let anything just be plain. You have to give it something, some own um, special thing. So as a result, I'm following that principle in the composing as an affect and I've sort of developed techniques that lead to certain kinds of adornment. So it's going to be very, it's, I'm trying to come out of my earlier processes in some way. This is one of the larger pieces I've been able to work on, so I'm very, uh, very grateful to everyone for giving me the opportunity to work on it and to try these new ideas about adornment and so on.